morning everyone it's Saturday and today is the Gulf Coast kayak fishing turn or uh, seminar so I decided to launch a little early that starts at 9 o'clock so I figured if I launch at 6 get a few hours in go to the seminar and probably go back out afterwards we'll have to see how that goes gonna be pretty windy all weekend again so we'll see how that goes um, so obviously I launched from Gulf Coast Kayak which is Matt Lachey um, I'm sticking in more in the pass because all these mangroves here are blocking some of the wind so I'm hoping to find some reds this morning we'll see stay tuned That is a nice, nice snook. That is a nice size speckled trout, people. It's on. Oh my God, I just hit a freaking tarpon, people. Oh, you just spit it. I've had, uh, I've had nothing, no, uh, no activity. I'm waiting to get a nice picture for Jen here. Um, but I've had no, no activity. It's only been a half hour or so. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it's kind of chilly. Water temperature is 70 degrees though. So that's still, still pretty warm. Last year when I started, I think the water temperature was probably, oh, mid 60s. So it's still very, very warm, which I'm, I'm, I'm being told is unusual. Good, bad, or indifferent, I don't really know. That must be Shannon. Yep, he said he was launching around 6.30. That's a guy named Shannon. Well, if you're watching this, bud, there you go. There's your shout out. Huh. I don't know, people. I'm not feeling anything this morning. My feet are starting to get cold. I really shouldn't complain seeing how everybody at home up there in the Northeast is under a uh, uh, foot of snow. And here I am fishing, complaining about 60 degree weather. <laughs> but it's chilly. I ain't gonna lie. I got my raincoat on and box some of the wind because it's chilly. I might put a pair of socks on. My feet are cold. Water temperature here is 69, so it is a little cooler over here. Not by much, but when I first got here, they told me 70 was the magic number. That might just be for tarpon, though. Professional angler, guide, guide for heroes on the water. Uh, I'm on staff with Peter Bates out of Manny, Louisiana, and I, I choose a lot of these baits to throw every day with my clients by myself because there's one reason: it's realism. This this fishery almost demands realistic lures. You, you can get away with a lot of you know breaking the rules a little bit here and there, but there's going to come a time when realism pays. And, and, you know, uh, what I call come on lures that end up sitting in your box and just, they just don't pay the bills. Uh, I'm also a, a tournament angler. Uh, I've fished in IFA Pro Leagues. I've cast checks fishing right here uh, in the Pro League. Uh, so I know this area pretty intimately. I spend hundreds and hundreds of hours out here. 
not just fishing, uh, because that's just a part of it. Picking up a rod and catching the fish is part of it. Watching fish, understanding why they do what they do when they do it. That's the ultimate goal of a fisherman. Why did I catch that fish there? How do I make it happen over and over and over? It's called patterning. Bass guys do it really, really well, and that's kind of where I cut my teeth fishing against Ike and Ellie's boys in South Jersey. You want to lose money? Yeah, they're willing to take it from you if you're not good enough to compete at that very high level. Uh, uh, but those are the things that will lead you to success by doing the same things. Uh, maybe it's because I'm ex-military. I'm very militarized to how I fish. I fish a very certain way because it feeds off. Uh, and I try not to break away from a norm. Like my normal fishing, I don't change anything. Uh, because I'm not sure what, what the reaction, you know. I already know I'm, I'm, I'm making money, I'm catching fish, there's no reason to stop. and uh, I got Eloy from Jupiter Kayak. We, uh, we took off after the seminar and uh, we're battling this wind. He thought he saw either a shark or a cobia. I guess we got cobia in the past here. so far but we're seeing a lot of reds so that's good <laughs> some days I think I do oh yeah huh. I'll tell you though I lost a shitload of views when I moved down. When you moved down here? Oh, yeah. Why that? Well, you got a different, different group of people watching. Absolutely. All, all the guys up north, they want to see what they fish for. Yeah. So. You know, I, don't, I don't watch videos from people up north. You know yeah. Mean? Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't. I have a few that I know I still watch. Videos the guys that do what I do here so yeah. I can get better at it. Yep. So, I mean, I went from, you know, Thousands to 800 views to 100. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting over basically. So what we got going on here is between us along this whole, this whole uh, mangrove bank is, is like four or five reds. They keep going back and forth. Decided to divide and conquer. I'm hoping one of us gets one. It has been a slow day. We have seen probably, I don't know, three dozen reds. Just do not want to bite. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Is it a trout or a lady? <laughs> I made a whole video on those. There you go. There we go. There we go. That was a lady. I think so. Oh, man. Oh, I haven't got... I haven't, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. my trout today. Finally. Finally a little trout. That was a nice hit. Keepers, but after the day we've had, I'll take it. another trout. Getting a little bit bigger. Not by much, but a little bigger. All right, everyone. Um, <laughs> a valiant effort we made. Um, first off, I want to thank Gulf Coast Kayak, and I'm um, sorry, I don't remember his name. Uh, the gentleman, uh, Mike Le Lane, L-A-H-N. Anyway, I want to thank Mike and Gulf Coast Kayak for putting on that little, uh, little seminar. Um, I don't film seminars on purpose. If you film a seminar, there's no point in going to a seminar. You just go online and watch it. So I will never film a seminar. I might film snippets like I did this today, but that's it. Um, I also want to thank Eloy from Jupiter Kayaks. Um, he is a local guide. Um, he was at the Santa Marta sem uh, seminar and um, we fished together today. And uh, I do appreciate Eloy. I appreciate you, you know, letting me hang and I learned a ton. Um, from the seminar and from from you so I do appreciate that um, just the fish didn't cooperate saw a ton of reds um, we must have seen 40 from small ones to some he he he, he always saw he, he thought he saw a couple 30 inches so they're out there they just did not want to cooperate today but that's fishing it's the way it goes it's winter. So, um, I want to thank everybody for hanging. 
I want to thank my patrons. Um, their support is, is vital. Um, please like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Uh, please think about becoming a patron. And if you're in Southwest Florida um, and you are looking for a guide, um, Eloy at Jupiter Kayak is a great one. Um, as also myself. Um, I am still learning. I will, uh, I will never shy away from telling people that. Um, but you can hire me as well. Get yourself on camera. Anyway, thank you all for hanging. And uh, as always, until next time, I'll see you out there.